Hi guys, this is Gabrielle, aka Hello Curly, and in this video, I'm dropping another product review. Keep on watching to see what I think about this ACV shampoo and conditioner from Can2. All right, y'all, I'm back, 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 back again with another product review. Now, I decided to do Can2. Ooh, that rhyme. Okay, Dr. Seuss. I decided to do Can2 because as much as I do showcase indie brands on the channel, I also want to make sure that I review products that you could get at the store, at the drug store, at, sometimes at the dollar store, you know, because I love me a dollar store fine, okay? I love me some dollar deals. Um, Now, don't do family dollar, but I love the dollar store. That's what I meant to say. I also want to review lots of products that you guys get at Target aka Target as I like to call it and I'm um, gonna just have a little mix so today I am doing a Cantu a lot of you guys uh, love my Cantu videos and a lot of you guys actually use Cantu so I decided to go to Target aka Target and pick me up something from Cantu's new line now new meaning it's been out for like a, a year maybe but new to me because I don't really use a whole lot of Cantu so we just gonna say new new this is the texture line uh oh let me see I'm shining bright like a diamond over here okay here we go we're gonna we're gonna try over here we're going to try a couple of things. I'm going to be on my Vanna White. So let's see. We're going to do slow like this. I'm trying to. Okay. Ah, okay. We're just going to do this. Vanna White style. Okay. This is the texture line by Can't Too. It is a shampoo and conditioner set. It is uh, the apple cider vinegar and tea tree. Now, the cool thing about Can't Too uh, with this product that I like is they took a staple that everybody loves or a lot of naturals have used at the beginning of their state, which was apple cider vinegar. Now, when I say new, it's because Can't Too renamed it Texture by Can't Too. So it is, here we go, Vanna White. Uh, who are Vanna White right now? Okay, I'm just gonna do like this. So it's texture. It's T X T R. I think my little shiny background is just it's, it's a little too bling blingy for Cantu. We're gonna roll with it. Um, but it's texture by Cantu. So I went online because I really wanted to see why why do Cantu got a different um another line? Like why isn't it just Cantu? So I did a little research. Was on my keyboard okay got my little note card because i'm about to get into it um so the texture line is supposed to be a salon inspired collection for all hair textures uh texture by can Two is the go-to solution for waves curls and coils enriched with vitamins extracts essential and natural oils so to have no silicones and no parabens etc etc uh both of these products the shampoo and conditioner is 9.99 at target again aka target is like i call it um and uh for those who now i never really did acv in my natural hair care journey i mean i was like kind of a mixologist with like the flax seed and stuff but i wasn't hitting acv like that i'll be so honest with you so that's why this line kind of you know inspired me to say mm, let me see what it's about again i still do not know why can two did another one because i don't know if all textures is for all different curl types i really thought all their products were for all natural types anyway so that's interesting to me i don't quite get it but i think it's supposed to be salon inspired i know it was like at alta um exclusively for a little while now it's like um like i said a lot of other places so i i don't know if this will be like the salon feel i know it definitely is more of a salon price because these are 9.99 a piece now you know for can too you can normally get your products on the low low uh their products only range between $5.99 and up, but I don't think anything is like a solid $10 plus, especially not for like a shampoo and conditioner. So that was interesting. I'm wondering if we're going to get to the ingredients, if the ingredients is making that more of a higher price tag. Now, ACV for some of the naturals, like I said, I didn't do a lot of ACV. I know women swore by it. Uh, ACV is apple cider vinegar, in case I haven't already said it in the video. And in case you're not as uh, hip on the, the natural terminology, you know, we used to use them acronyms like crazy. ACB, what? Uh, BSA, BSL, bra strap, like all of them. Anywho, ACV is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar helps prevent fungal bacteria and um and it helps to kind of encourage growth because it keeps the scalp clean it's supposed to almost like tea tree you know one of those things that really just goes into the scalp and really just kind of cleanses it and so people would do ac rinses instead of using shampoo so that you didn't use like uh sulfates things like that but still keeping the scalp clean and as we know a clean scalp always promotes growth and blood circulation um and it also regulates the ph balance there are a lot of products that yeah you see i'm putting my little <laughs> put my little I said on today uh there are a lot of products that 
have a alkaline that are seven and up seven and up really disrupts the ph balance of your hair sometimes it can mess up the cuticle leaving the cuticle to be open and not in a good way we all know sometimes when cuticles are not uh sealed and closed correctly it can lead to hair being very frizzy it can lead to um hair getting damaged so kind of you and acv is supposed to restore the ph in your hair so that the cuticle stays closed and it's supposed to lower it down anything over a seven is like way too alkaline and then three is like where you need to be okay now you now have your degree in natural hairology by hello curly all right let's get into the products so i'm going to do the shampoo first one thing that i love about the shampoo the top, the top. I love this nozzle because it really pays an homage to the first naturals when we used to. Again, I didn't do ACV, but most people would do the ACV, the, I think, ACV on water, if I'm not mistaken. And they would get the kind of nozzle so that you could just put it directly on the scalp. Love that this goes directly on the scalp. That means for someone like me who got a lot of hair. A lot of her and if y'all like this hair color go watch my last video don't be fretting on that last video okay don't be farting go watch it to see how i achieve this okay okay so the curls could be popping for you too all right let's hop back into this product <laughs> and also hit subscribe if you haven't already you you know that you want to you know you like it okay but anywho shampoo so a lot of the ingredients are water lots of things i can't pronounce let's see glycerin um apple cider is in the top four which as you guys always know always tell you whatever's in the top of your ingredients list means that the product has majority of it do not fall pro do not fall for a product that says that their olive oil olive oil is the last ingredient chances it has a finito zero okay all right so apple cider vinegar is at the top um we do have tea tree leaf oil we do have shea butter we do have kernel extract we do have aloe so the ingredients let's pop it we do have our menthol so we got a lot of good stuff in here all right I'm, I'm surprised by that again love this top this is no mineral oil so it's have the shea butter the spearmint oil that's supposed to soothe dry scalp tea tree oil promote healthy hair sorry y'all and uh oat uh kennel extract that's supposed to comfort and soothe and aloe for detangling and to smooth and of course the apple cider vinegar now what did i think about this product i loved it i loved the shampoo the shampoo lathers so well child i felt like i was in the head and was the head and shoulders of a pantene commercial i don't know which one it was but i was getting my life with the lathers and the bubbles okay i was getting me a good time with the lather absolutely love this shampoo i love how it lathered my scalp feels so clean and i love the mentholy effect it just gives that tingle but not in that tingle that's like my eyes about to burn that tingle that's like mm, okay i'm gonna leave this in here let me leave this shampoo in here let me read me a little comic book real quick you know I really, really loved how it made my scalp feel. I felt like it made my scalp very clean. I didn't feel like it was very drying or very uh, stripping. Um, as far as smell, the smell is a little strong. It's a little strong. It doesn't smell like ACV, which is absolutely great. You don't smell any of that. But it is a very, I call it cleaner smell. <laughs> like, one time I used it, I came back. I was like, dang, is that the, the lasso wipes that I did? Okay. So it's a little strong. Not too, too strong. And I think that it depends on a person's personal preference. My sister used a shampoo, and she didn't. She's very sensitive to smells. It didn't bother her. But when she did use it, and I ended up uh, coming over, I was like, oh, girl, what you do? You just, you know, Andrew from Fabuloso a little bit, okay? And so I still need to say that I could smell it but it's not a bad smell to me it dies down very quickly and it doesn't permeate in the hair okay and most of all it doesn't smell like acv it does not burn you know a lot of people said you use too much acv the scalp can burn a little bit so i'm giving this 4.5 stars maybe uh, or four out of five it's four or five hashes because it's not like the most like oh girl but it's so i'm i'm like oh i'm a little torn y'all hmm Hmm. All right, forget the numbers. We're going to do numbers right now. We're going to forget the number system because doing that scale is a little hard for natural hair. You know, meaning that it's a little hard. It's almost like saying Beyonce is the number 10 and, and who effing with Beyonce? Ain't nobody messing with Beyonce. So I sell that to say, I won't compare it to anything else. I'm going to rate it solo dolo. I'm going to say this is a good shampoo. Um, I think that it delivers on cleanliness. Um, For people who've done ACV, I don't know. Again, I have not used ACV, so I don't know how clean how close this is for my girls who are acv junkies and addicts i would just say i love the nozzle i would just say i love the lather i like that it kept my hair clean i hands down we use it again i didn't feel like my hair was stripped definitely got to follow it up with something more moisturizing but i actually like surprisingly liked it and so the reason why i may be a little more higher on the totem pole with this cancer product is because normally uh me and cancer don't really jive won't really 
we ain't really here we like almost there we're almost here like tanashi's music almost there you know so i sell that to say that this prom crazy y'all this product i think uh is a great shampoo i wish they would come down on the price a little bit um i do not think that we need 9.99 now can't you do better do better i need you to Bring it on down, Charlie Brown. Excuse me, all my camera died on me. I had to juice her up. Uh, but there are some products that are more organic and that I feel like um, are a little closer to that price point. Us long quality, that, that's a, that's an interesting tag. I would just say that I do really, really like this shampoo. And again, won't put a number scale on it. I'll say that I like it and I feel like it delivers on what it says and I like the tingliness, okay? So I do recommend people buy it. Um, again, whether it's must have, that's up to discretion, but there are a lot of things that I do like about it. On the other hand, the conditioner. Okay, let me hit my, my hood man of white. Let me see. This this little background is so cute, but it is causing problems for the white. Okay, we'll just we'll just do this. All right. Has a pop top. Um, it has shea butter, a spearmint oil, and canola oil. You can use this as a rinse out and a leave-in. Again, it is the same price as the shampoo. It is $9.99. Again, you could have came down that price. You could have made this product two dollars and I wouldn't have bought it. Child lord i do not like the condition at first try now when i did use it the hair was a little crazy okay the hair was in bad shape i had bonded for a week and i think i was sick or something so i really needed my girl to come through for me and she didn't deliver for me okay uh one thing my hair actually felt worse using the conditioner than it did the shampoo it felt more stripped using the conditioner than it did the shampoo um you can use this as a leave-in and i tried to do it with a leave-in i did feel like i had a lot of slip um i felt like it was just okay for me uh but what i felt was like my hair started getting a little greasy just a little bit and the ingredients just with this one is the water the canola oil and that probably is it um the glycerin shea butter my hair felt greasy and not in like a cute way uh my curls weren't clumped <sighs> yeah 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 homegirl just ain't feeling it okay um and definitely not for for 9.99 there are a lot of products that i would pay that there are products i will pay more than 9.99 for this ain't one of them um and i definitely couldn't leave it in i tried to do it as a leave-in had to rinse homegirl out okay me her me and svetlana was not rocking with sis okay so so that to say i'm a yay on the shampoo I'm a nail on the conditioner. Tell me what y'all think. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video even halfway delightful, share with your friends, y'all. Have more people be a part of Team Hello Curly. If you love me like you say you do, you'll share and you'll hit subscribe. All right. Uh, I love you guys. Leave some comments for me. Tell me what you think, okay? And keep watching. Besos. Bye.